What's up everyone, Art of Patience Metal Fab, and I wanna welcome you back to another episode that is on the topic of side-by-sides. And in the last one, we talked about the Go Grid Molly panels that we've just created and put out on our website. Those are live, so if you wanna pick up a set, just follow the link in the description. And there's a video, so I'll post that link as well. You guys can get familiarized with what the product is. Now, in that episode, we also talked about a larger project we're doing, which is the Polaris Razor and General Roll Bars. And in this episode, that's what we're gonna be chatting about because we have the prototype version all finished up and looking awesome. So let's go grab Gary and we'll get into it. Gary, you want to tell us about the vehicle first before we get into the cage work? Yeah, what we've got here is a brand new 23 Razor Pro XP. Uh, this is their new model coming out of uh, their XP lineup. Um, a little sportier, kind of going after the Can-Am. So this is this is kind of the popular model right now. Let's switch get a turbo in. So when you buy this from the factory, it does come with an OEM cage. It's a little bit taller, definitely not as strong as what we're seeing here. and really there's a lot to be improved on, and I assume that's the mentality you use to develop this? Absolutely. Uh, cosmetics is a big one, but uh, safety is number one for sure. The factory cages are known for allowing the chassis to get bent if you roll them. So by putting an aftermarket cage on, I mean, essentially you're buying insurance. You put this thing over it, the chassis is protected. Apply a good, strong cage on top. This particular Razor is a customer vehicle, and that's how a lot of our projects start. So originally he came in for us to develop this roll bar right here. It's a little less beefy than that one, uh, with a couple fewer options, you would say. Uh, but this is one that's gonna be going out to powder, and when we come back, it's gonna be going on this car, right? Absolutely, yep. So like Art said, customer one, a little more specified to what he wanted, a little dialed back, doesn't need anything quite as extreme, but we're gonna take the opportunity, like anything, to develop a product around it. Everything from the wild. It's even tough to call this the mild version because there's so much going on and it's incredibly strong. Obviously we could throw this down on the ground, both jump on it and it's not going anywhere. That version that we'll get into has a couple more things going for it, but this would be the baseline. So can we get into some details or specifications of, of this particular cage? Yeah, the important thing is that we go uh, inch and three quarter on 95 DOM with an option for Kamali on these. It has the important pieces in it. It's got a harness bar to anchor your harnesses to, unlike the OEM bar. It's got good triangulation on the main bar that's going to protect the driver directly. And it ties into the front and the rear mounting points as well as the middle to provide you with the protection that you're going to need. Uh, Round it out with some roof tabs. It'll get an aluminum panel for the roof. And this one does work with the factory Polaris uh, snap and go windshield. My favorite part of it is the PMF logo right here. And this panel is not purely aesthetic. It does do something, correct? Yeah, anytime you actually gusset in a structure like this, uh, you, get, you get a significant amount more strength out of it. So that's a 12 gauge piece of plate essentially that turns this from two individual tubes to a single structure. 
I mentioned this is the initial roll cage that we did for the customer, so that's gonna be going out to powder coat, and then eventually I'll get some shots of it on the razor. And with the production uh, bars that we're gonna be doing, they are gonna be powder coated as well as an option. So once they're up on the website, you guys will be able to choose between the raw assembly or the coated one. Now, this version is a little bit different, as I mentioned, there's some more reinforcement. So can we kind of point out where and why? Yep, absolutely. So we actually triangulate your rear down bars. This is the point that picks up the rear of the chassis. In the other cage, you can see they just kind of hang. They're still a lot stronger than the original, but they are not in supported directly. In this case, dual triangulation ties up the rear corner. This is like a lot more what you'd see in an actual race cage. And then the other part that's noticeably different are the anti-intrusion bars in the windshield itself. Generally to keep uh, anything from intruding. You know, you catch a deer with these, they go through the windshield. You hear horror stories all the time, so that's where those bars got their name. The big thing I noticed besides the anti-intrusion bars is the windshield as well. Looks like it's plexiglass. Is that a Polaris item? Yeah, uh, so we've actually gotten a lot of requests in the past, especially with our XP stuff from earlier, about being able to run a factory Polaris on it, or a factory windshield on it, excuse me. We do offer a DOT glass windshield as well with the aluminum surround, but for a guy that went and spent, you know, three, 400 bucks on a Polaris windshield and wants to retain that, these cages are designed with that in mind. Eventually, you're gonna see a Patience Metal Fab version of this windshield that we're gonna be able to sell. And one of the best things about this roll cage is that there's so much opportunity for accessories. Because of the tube sizing, it really opens us up to all sorts of clamps and things we can create for those clamps. So you guys saw our Go Grip Molly panels. We're gonna be doing an assortment that go uh, hand in hand with something like this, and you guys can be able to modulate where you put them and what sort of accessories that you attach to it. You might notice that this cage is just tacked together. That's because this is the pre-production prototype. It's gonna be coming off of the razor, going onto our fixture table, and then we're gonna be making all the production versions that you're gonna be able to purchase on our website from that. That being said, this customer version does have full welds on it, so I wanted Gary to kind of talk about the quality of the piece because that's the biggest factor of all this. Yeah, coming from being a race shop, all our cages are 100% TIG welded. Nothing's MIG welded. It does differentiate us from some of the other competition out there, um, as well as being able to offer these in chromoly tubing if somebody does want the upgrade. I mean, it's pretty clear why we take them. Really, in a nutshell, these things are the best steel, the best welding, the best quality that we're able to give. And being a race shop, like Gary said, we're known for quality, so you know what you're gonna get with these. And there's a really discerning customer base for them. I know you're an enthusiast for side-by-sides. You go out on the weekends and, and do this. What is one of the reasons that we even took on this project? Well, like Art said, we're a race shop. We typically haven't gotten into these things too much in the past, but as a hobbyist myself getting out there, I continue to hear that the Midwest is so underserved with being able to get quality bolt-on cages up here without spending $1,000 in freight to get them out of the Southwest or the Southeast. So, um, you know, we're here to step up and serve it and uh, bring some quality to the table. Yeah, so if you're anywhere near the Minneapolis area or even if you have to make a drive for these, they're well worthwhile. We expect people to come around from the entire Midwest, maybe even bringing their Razor by to show it off. Uh, so we can't wait to get these on customer cars. If you guys are watching this video, we're either ready to do the production runs, in which case there'll be a link in the description, or we're damn close to it. So these are something we're really proud of. We hope you guys enjoy them. Let us know in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.